sometimes after you've clayed out a motor and you find that you've got valve to piston interference having a piston vise <clears throat> a mill a fly cutter these things may not be readily available to you you can go to your local automobile repair center and ask them for an old worn out valve obviously you get one with the correct stem diameter and you can weld a piece of lathe tooling on it doesn't have to look pretty it's just got to work this has got positive rake it's been hand ground looks a little crude works really nice this one I've just cut into the face of the valve at about five or ten degrees at this angle and back cut all of this you put this in the head that's blank put a couple head bolts in place put a drill on it determine that you want to cut down here say a hundred thousandths adjust a little stop you can use wire and twist it on the valve stem before it gets real tight move it to its desired position so that when you're going down it'll only go down so far and then that's your stop so the piston is on the rod the head is held in on with a couple bolts got a valve sticking out of the head put a hand drill in it turn it on this ta -da. <laughs> just keep going yeah I'll just leave it on the counter yes a little interruption there from the UPS man this is chucked up into the drill. Turn the drill on until it moves down the desired amount. <laughs> Wait for the UPS driver to leave so the beep quits. Now, after you make the cut, take everything apart, clean it up, check your fly cut for depth, reclay the motor, and uh, you can come out with something that's as nice as this. All of this is made from worn out valves that you've repurposed into some nice cutters that uh, you operate with a hand drill. Works very nice.